like, have you gotten this? Um, you know, I asked questions, you know, who is this? What happened? I put on there. I remember the same thing being posted on Facebook in 2021 when Jen also faked her passing. Um, then the person on the email said, listen, I can't go into it, but I'm letting everyone know before I turn myself in. So who do you think she's pretending she is there? I mean, Matt, I mean, who else? Yeah, okay. Matt. So, you know, what happened? Do you want to talk so I can get the word out properly? The person says, fuck no, I hit that bitch. For real, for real, she is gone. She deserved it for real, for real. Yep, she's pretending to be Matt. Yep. Yep. And I bet you if Matt found this out, she probably would get a beating. <laughs> well, it's not, I mean, I'm, nobody should. Nobody should reach out to Matt about this at all. No. At all. But um, I'm just saying, if he knew she was doing it, I don't think he would be very happy with her. No. Um, Karen, with these uh, emails, I said, so have you contacted, contacted the authorities, Jen's family? They don't seem to know anything. I find that strange. Person wrote back, I'm turning myself in. I said, so the police paramedics haven't been there yet. I didn't hear anything back, so I contacted the police. Let them know exactly the emails I've gotten, who, whose email account they were from, read them to them, um, gave them a little background on Jen. Um, and so they went over there and they checked in and everybody was fine according to them. And then I got an email from her saying that um, if I continue to communicate with her through TikTok, text calls, emails, etc., which I have not done personally since August 31st, she has reached out to me once prior to today, and I haven't. I did not. Re I did not message her back. Um, and she said it, it'll be considered if I further communicate with her, it'll be considered harassment, reported and prosecuted to the full ex fullest extent of the law when I haven't even like contacted her. So, you know, there's a bit of crazy going on. I'll tell you that. I there would be like counter suit, send that 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 mentally uh, gave you anguish. Yes. <laughs> Those text messages from her. Go you ahead. Know what? You know what? It's not even worth it because this is this is as I said. If it ever went, <clears throat> if she ever tried to do that in court, and I had these emails with the timestamps, and how I haven't been in communication with her, you know, for weeks prior to this, and she's and how I haven't been harassing her. Come on, I'm not going to believe that. All so. right, I'm going to jump down, scammy. Just okay, uh, crazy. do what you do, and and. I'm glad you reached out to the cops again to call her bluff. Um, and um, I'm sure we'll see her online, you know, alive. Amazing. Amazing. I know. She's like a cat, man. She's got nine lives. <laughs> I like that. Thanks. Bye, I need that laugh. Thanks. Can you kick me out? I will. Hi, Sassy. Well, Hello. Well, she's a cat. She's on her seventh live, so she only got like two left. So she better really tread careful. <laughs> and you know, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be honest. You know, she really needs to stop this because you know, she's done this so many times. I'm sure at some point, legally, there's something that the law can do because they right. have to. Go They've had to go out there so many times <clears throat> due to um, fake threats and all that stuff. Um, you know, I, I really, I mean, for her benefit, she really needs to stop doing it. Right. It's crazy. I just, I, here I thought this week it was starting to calm down for a little bit for us. <laughs> Yeah, right. you know what I'm talking about, Scammy. I'm not going to go into right. it, but you know, um, here I thought it was finally quieting down and getting a little calmer in the waters, and bam, we're just back in the deep end again. <laughs> yeah, we're back in the cesspool that is the tickety top. Oh my God, you know, it's, 
I'm like, I haven't said anything or done anything. It's like, what the hell, you know? But Good it is Friday 13th. I know a lot of people don't believe in this day, but, you know, for us people that are born on the 13th and turn 13 on Friday the 13th and had children born on Friday the 13th, this is a wonderful day for us. <laughs> yeah, I'm happy you're enjoying it. But, All well, I, I, get I thank you for calling it out right away, though, you know, yeah. just so that she doesn't suck anyone back in, you know, you know what I'm saying. But again, and, that's the big thing for anybody in here that was still going into Jen's lives when she goes on for like five or 10 minutes. Um, you need to know that she's still pulling this shit. She's still doing shady shit. Well, she's um, getting worse, actually. Yeah. So people need to be very aware. I have not talked to Jen in probably three weeks, maybe a little longer than that, actually. So mm. I cut off everything. Oh, oh yeah. I'm sorry. But oh, yeah. again, thank you for yep. letting us all know though i mean yeah i i think it's important to know because you know i i as i said i was going to continue to bring awareness to her if she was doing shady crap again okay. and, and this goes into the file of shady crap so. right well have a good day everyone and hopefully everyone has an amazing weekend thank you care, thanks uh-huh Hi, Katie. Hey, Scammy. I just yeah. have one question. Surely. When she sent you that last email, yeah. did she reply to the same thread of emails or was it a new email? It was the same thread. And the other thing was that was interesting is I'm looking now. Is it the same font? Um, it is the same th font size and everything, but I guarantee you, absolutely guarantee you, she didn't write that. It was copied and pasted, but I just wanted to make sure that it was in the same email thread. It was, so there definitely. blows that idea of her saying that her emails were hacked. Yep, and especially if, if anything... If anything was wrong on it, if, um, you know, if, if she wanted to say that, oh, well, Matt hacked my account or somebody outside hacked it, she would have said that immediately had she known that I contacted the cops. But there was right. absolutely none of that. It was immediately, you know, the whole threat of um, being prosecuted. But at least she was considerate enough to keep it all in a nice little neat little package in one email. Exactly. And it was so well worded and thought out. Gee, I would have to think that somebody with some type of a legal background wrote that. I mean, I wonder. I'm, just, I'm just I'm I'm just throwing that out there. I mean, I don't know who it could be. Um, I have no clue. Because, you know, it could be the lawyer across the street, though, because I know that, you know, she does have one. So the one stop shop. Yes. Yes. So mm. but, um, Katie Bear, I just want you to know I support you 100 percent. Thank you. And I support you, too. I mean, that that was just that was just crazy talk today. And um, that was, you know, just wanted to let you guys know. Well, thank you, Scammy. I appreciate that. Ah, of course. Of course. Thanks for coming up. Thank you. Bye. Bye. So, yeah, that was the crazy, that was the crazy today, guys. Um, that was the absolute crazy today. Uh, let's see who else wants to come up here. Hello. I have no idea. I did not mean to go live. I am eating a sandwich. I'm so sorry. I'm just about to eat a sandwich, too. So you want to have lunch together? Hell yeah, girl. Let's do okay. it. Let's do it. Okay. Thanks for coming up. Yep. Thanks. Bye. Uh, I know I've not heard from Judy, but Judy did post um, the legal papers that were uh, reportedly uh, sent to T today. So, um, those are on her, those are on her website. Excuse me. Ugh. 
Yeah, Flizz, that, and that's what I told the police. I said that back in 2021, the same thing happened where somebody uh, made a post that Jen had passed away. Um, um, a, a quick recap, and then I'm going to get off of here because I, I am like busy doing stuff outside. Um, so quick recap, 10 o'clock this morning, I get an email from Jen's account saying that, uh, uh, and I'm paraphrasing now because I shut off my iPad, that um, wanted to let you know that Jen has died. So of course I asked questions like, what? Who is this? What happened? Blah, blah, blah. The person who sent the email sent one back saying that they're about to turn themselves in. Um, and I said, you know, um, what have you called the paramedics, the authorities? And um, the person said that um, they're turning themselves in. And I said, well, what happened? The person said, and I'm paraphrasing, um, that bitch deserved it. Um, I hit her um, for real, for real. Um, you know, she deserved it, something like that. And then um, um, when I asked, you know, some other questions, I got nothing back. Um, I called the police in Cincinnati, told them about the emails that I had been receiving. They went out there and did a, uh, a check on uh, the apartment. Um, I gave them uh, her name and Matt's name, and they said everybody was fine. So um, I then got a email back from Jen threatening um, a lawsuit, prosecution, if I uh, communicate with her via TikTok, email, um, phone, text message, which is funny because I don't know her phone number and I don't text ever. Um, so yeah, uh, threatening me with a lawsuit it, because it's considered harassment after I called the police because I thought that she had passed away. So figure that one out. Yeah. So who knows what her motivation was? Sorry, I'm chewing right now. Um, but yeah, happy Friday the 13th, y'all. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Um, let me see him. Hi, how are you? Hey, Scammy Claus. How are you? Hey, yeah, I'm good. How are you? I'm okay. Hey, I was didn't know if you saw or n saw on here or not, and I won't take but a second. Sarah posted a uh, a little line there, which I agree with as far as the legal wording that she sent to you. Yeah, she could have got on a legal site, highlighted that part, copied and pasted it to her email, and then sent it. True. Absolutely. So, Absolutely, she could have. Yeah. So I'm, I'm thinking like Sarah. I think that's probably, like you said, it doesn't sound like her writing, and I think that's probably what she did. Probably a good, um, probably, probably correct on that. But I'll tell you, yeah. it was definitely from a website or somebody that knows the legal. Uh, terms and the way to word things and um, absolutely it definitely was not her words no no and I've had some well my son has had some issues with an ex-girlfriend and so I have been into some legal sites looking for answers or advice or whatever you know and so you can highlight certain areas and then like I said copy and paste it I've done that to save for him so that I can show him mm -hmm. things that I've that I have found so I'm sure that's probably what happened and it's 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 just it's sickening and I think a lot of it is like I've been saying she's been ignored recently oh, yeah. she, she can't stand it she cannot stand it. So we're stirring the pot some more, bringing up some more drama and attention. 
Mm-hmm. So, and it's it's good that you called the police. But I'll tell you, and it may be bad for me to say, but scammy. If if it happens again, I would not even respond to it. I yeah, would just, yeah. you know, I would yeah. just just ignore it because this has happened too many times. I totally agree with you on that. Yeah. So it's, it's tough though, you know, because you go through it in your head, you know. How would you feel, really, if you didn't do anything and then you find out that something actually happened? Exactly. And I understand. I understand. Legally, I'm trying to cover my butt, too, because <laughs> if anything ever did happen, and uh-huh. I didn't say anything, then I might be able to be held liable because I didn't come forward with information. Yeah. Well, do you have, like... Uh, Judy or anybody in the family, do you have their, I would forward it, if you got anything like this again, I would just forward it to them. Yeah, good idea. And that way she doesn't get any response from you, put it in the hands of the family, and if they want to respond to it, that, then it's off of you, and that's up to them. Yep. What because it's, it's like I said, it's, it's just happened to you too many times. Yeah, what I have to do is I have to find out how to block emails from her. Yeah, um, yeah. That's what really needs to happen. Yeah, because yeah. this is this is just, it's ridiculous, it's disgusting. And, uh, yeah, she's just, she's seeking attention again, so. Yeah, she is. But, anyway, you can drop me, sweetie. Okay. That's all I wanted to say. And you Thank have you. a good weekend. And, and uh I appreciate some more excitement that. going here. <laughs> Thank you. Um, do you think this could have been pre-planned by a few people to try to set you up somehow? I don't know. Anything on this app is possible. That's all I'm going to say. Anything is possible. Absolutely anything is possible on this app. Hi, Jazzy. Uh, I didn't think she meant to come up. Um, let's get Terry up here. A couple more people, and then I got to go back outside, and I got to keep working.